Look at that. Honeydew made us a, uh, a funny bone. I'm sorry. Made, I don't know. <laughs> That's Tux. That's cool. Yeah. Most of you, it's pretty good, huh? He just made that up. Yeah, it's not bad. Most of you are probably pretty familiar with spyware and adware. But if you're not, it's it's basically yep. software that comes usually with some shareware program, mm -hmm. uh, and it installs on your system. It keeps track of the uh, the ads and the shareware, but it also can keep track of your surfing behavior. It can add software onto your system you may not want. And that really came to people's attention when if they found out that even after they uninstalled the shareware, the spyware stuck around. So a few programs have come yes. up to get rid of these. Uh, Adaware is one. Uh, Spybot search and destroy. Uh -huh. and Kevin decided to take a little. And actually, yeah, actually I tested out several. I tested out uh, three products. That actually, what I wanted to do, first I want to tell you, is I wanted to find an application that can actually detect these things because in memory, like, you know how a, a antivirus will catch it on the fly? Right. Well, there's new applications out now that actually say that they can catch these on the fly before it even gets installed on your machine. Block them, in other Block words. Block them. That's and a And that's great what idea. you're paying for. And they, there's three actually paid versions out there. Only actually two of them. The Adware Plus Edition. Okay. And also Norton Antivirus 2004. Right. They're actually now starting to check for adware and spyware. Oh, that's, that's new in Norton. And also Spybot Search and Destroy, which is 100% free. Yeah, and that also has blocking technology. I've yes. been using that to block things like Avenue A from installing and Gator and stuff like that. Right? How's that worked out for you? Uh, I don't know. I had nothing's installed. It's been great. Yeah, I, I, I had a little bit of problems. But let's let's run down. Okay, let's one take a at look at time. it. Okay. Uh, first, adware. Plus. Yes. Uh, How much is, is this? This is uh, 29 or 26.95. Okay. And here's a screenshot of it. The reason you're actually not seeing the real running applications, I didn't want to install this different spyware on here. It, it would just mess up a machine. It, it would mess up all our machines here. On there. Yeah. And so what I did is I installed 10 commonly spy commonly used spyware and adware applications. Got it. I went out there and found 10 different ones. And what I did is I did an entire scan with this. Now with the standard scan, which you run, you know, you, you choose scan and it starts up and it scans all your files, scans your registry. Right. This removed all 10 out of 10. It found them. It found all 10 out of 10 and removed them. But so did the freeware edition of this software. Okay. So you now, don't need to buy the, the paid one to you, do that. You don't need to buy the paid one to do that. But if you take a look here, this is their ad watch system. Now this is actually what you're paying the money for. This is supposed to look at your processes here. Check this out. 44 running processes and it's supposed to capture any new applications or spyware that's found in your system. So what I did is I installed the software first and then yeah. I proceeded to install the 10 different ad and spyware applications. Right. But I'm sad to say it really didn't find them. It found one of the... It says uh, zero events logged. It, zero events on this one, but I was able to... It ca caught one of them. Okay. One of the spyware and error. So I'm not going to recommend actually going out and buy this one. because Not for the blocking capabilities. Not for the blocking the capabilities. The free capabilities work. The freeware is awesome. It's yep. one of my favorites. Yep. Now, also, Norton Antivirus 2004. Let's check that out. This is new for Norton. They've, they're known for their antivirus, but they're, they've never really been known for uh, blocking adware or spyware. Right. And actually, this is brand new here. Out of the 10 ad and spyware applications that I installed, it found 8 out of 10. Mm -hmm. So it didn't quite find them all. It wasn't quite as good as the adware. But it didn't detect them in real time either, which kind of bothered me. You know how it detects viruses in real time when you copy the file over your system? It sees that it, it looks at the signature of the file. You have to scan to get rid of these. You have to scan to get rid of these. So, it, you know, it's a great antivirus. I like it, and I like the path that they're going down here because they have the automatic update. Right. So I'm sure they're going to be adding more and so more. So this is part of the antivirus part program. The antivirus. It's interesting that they actually added this. Isn't that the funny? They're starting yeah. to add that stuff in there. Yeah. So that's Norton. Not uh, perfect yet. Not perfect yet, but I like it as an antivirus, and it can't hurt to have it on there. Right. Um, here's a spy bot search engine destroy. Now this one... This uh, is normally my favorite, I have to say. I'll have to say it's probably my favorite as well. Yeah. It has so many different options and features. The, uh, they actually do have a portion. I have it here running. I actually uh, am running on this machine. They have this resident. See this resident right here? You can actually install this and what it's going to do for it, it's going to help you with a certain type of a ActiveX blocks, controls and things like these. that. Okay. But it really didn't have the capabilities that I was looking for as far as detecting them in real time. Right. But it's a great, it found all 10 out of 10 and completely cleared it out. Now, I've been using this running in the background to block, and the only thing I've ever noticed it blocked is Avenue A. And the reason I noticed that is, is it's an ad server that runs on the Tech TV website. Oh, so every time you go to Tech, every time go to Tech TV, it says, we blocked Avenue A for you. Right. But I don't know if it's blocked other stuff. I don't run adware on my system, so right. I don't know, you know. Exactly. That's what I didn't know either. So that's why I went out right. and Find those 10 applications. Double click and things like that, it'll block those, right? Though, right? Yeah. Yes, double yeah. click and basic things like that. So that's but I was talking software. about serious spyware I and agree. adware and things like I that. Agree. The little double click ads and cookies and things like that really doesn't matter to me. Let me ask you just quickly before we get the overall okay. winner what uh, what did you use in your test suite? What do you think are the really nasty ad based Well, programs? you know, people have been getting sued for saying that there's certain. We aren't going to say, say We're not going to say Gator is spyware. Right. It is adware. It is adware. And that, that, you know, I don't like the term spyware because it implies it's spying on right. you. It's, it's serving a purpose. So I don't mind calling this stuff right. adware. There's 
There's a couple other applications. You may not want it, but it's adware. Yeah, that's yeah. true. A Bonzi Buddy is Bonzi another Buddy, one that I notorious. installed. Bonzi Buddy, Notorious. Okay. That one is, is adware. I don't, yeah. I don't believe it's spyware, but it's adware. Right. And there was a few other ones, uh, Back Warfist, some of the standard some stuff. Some of the kind of no. truly nasty Trojan stuff. Yeah, yeah. even uh, Mac McAfee, the, the, their suite, actually found the, that is a, uh, as a, a virus, virus yes. is what they're showing up Most as. Most of them will find that, right. yeah. But uh, there was a couple you other ones. You mean Norton or McAfee? Uh, well, actually, Norton and McAfee. And I threw McAfee. McAfee in there just for the heck of it. Okay. I had it installed in the machine, and it found it. And I was like, oh, hey, hey at least it's doing the job. Yep. But also, um, I did some other things like Hot Bar and some of the other ones that have adware built in. Yep. And there's a few other spywares. I have the entire list of them on the website. Good. We'll have to look at that. Now, yeah. bottom line, which did you bottom recommend? Bottom line, I'm going to say a combination of both SpyBot and adware. The Why free not? versions both of free. both. Yep. Download them, install them, and run them both. I agree with you 100%. If you want to read the full roundup of all of these programs, the pros and cons, and the list of applications he used to test them, things you might not want to install, but at least know <laughs> about, check them out at thescreensavers.com.